At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. When we basically move away from state-dominant control, we open it up to the local market where the innocent people can come in either through a unit trust or directly and ensure that we partakers in uh, progressiveness of the country. Yeah. Well, it is not uh, the commercialization process for non-strategic is open. Now we have got to ensure that the transparency in doing it is opened up. We have got to get a true valuation, get the staff protected, and then go forth. No, nothing to do with IMF. Absolutely not. Whether it's IMF or even if North Korea comes and tells us what is good, we'll do it. Well, we are not in an urge to do so, but we only want to show that our intent is correct. Of the Sri Lanka will definitely, that, that's a policy taken, we will not allow controlling rights to go out. What about the other stories that you have planned? Now that, that's different on Sri Lankan, which is a national day. My Prime Minister and President have been very clear on that. National Water Supply and Drainage Board, Airport and Aviation Services Limited, Sri Lanka Port Authority, Ceylon Electricity Board and Ceylon Petroleum Corporation signed a memorandum of understanding for efficiency improvement. Keeping with international regulations, we must have the runway of the Bandaranaike International Airport resurfaced. If not, starting next year, flights will not be able to land there and all flights will have to be diverted to Matala. In that case, passengers will have to be brought back in buses. As a solution, we resurfaced the runway within three months at a cost of 49 million rupees. We are happy that work has been completed earlier than expected. Uh, the future is challenging. We need to uh, change our business model. We need to uh, look at uh, private sector involvement in investment within public sector. And we need to educate our trade unions about the benefits of uh, this, these new business models. And in the meantime, we also have got to be prepared to be ready to install sectoral uh, regulators, which is lacking in, in most of our areas.